Biological research is evolving by the minute. And what is making it much more exciting are the newer approaches which are coming in the biological sector. Biosciences as we speak is one of the most exciting sector to be in and given that we are seeing newer methodologies, newer approaches coming in day by day, I invite all of you to watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you some amazing insights on how it is being done and what are the challenges our scientists are facing today. So to start with, let's look at one approach which is my favorite approach and that is advancement in technologies and marriage of two technologies. Now, for example, the advancement in sequencing technology has led to a huge boom in whole genome sequencing, NGS and all that stuff we, we are seeing today. Now, if we look at that is one side of the story, but on the other side of the story, we have bioinformatics, artificial intelligence and machine learning and all that merging together to accelerate research. So that is one thing which is advancing advancement of technologies. And of course, the second part of it is marriage of two or more technologies. And this approach is proving to be an amazing approach for researchers. And given that we have computers and artificial intelligence today, it is becoming even easy, much easier to uh, analyze the data which we are getting out of it. So that's the first point which I wanted to make. The second one is again more ex uh, very exciting is multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary approaches. For example, in one of the videos we talked about quantum biology, quantum chemistry and quantum computing and how th these three are interconnected, interrelated. A development in uh, or discovery in quantum biology is leading to much more advancement in quantum computing. A uh, discovery in quantum chemistry is helping quantum computing. So, you know, all these things are interrelated, interconnected. So, interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approaches are uh, amazing uh, way of pursuing, pursuing your research because when you merge uh, two fields altogether, say uh, you merge physics with chemistry or physics with biology, the f entire world or the point of view towards your research changes. So that's an, another very important and interesting approach which you can have. The third point, point for you today is precision medicine. Now, the um, advent of technology is seeing a large amount of genetic data being available for all of us. So all that data can be now used to develop personalized medicine for all of you. Now, that means if a person is allergic to paracetamol, we can find a drug on what basis this particular drug is, drug is allergic and we can find a drug which will not be allergic to this person. And I have seen so many cases of so many people who are allergic to a particular drug. But with the advent of or with the application or implication of precision medicine, we can have better drug uh, approaches, drug uh, delivery approaches as well. Let's take example of cancer. So even in cancer, you, if you, precision medicine is there, we can do it better, right? So that's my uh, third point. Let's move on to the fourth point. The fourth point is big data in biology. As we know, a small single gene sequence leads to a more than 100 GB of data, right? And that data is huge. So imagine if we have the entire whole genome of the body sequence, how, what kind of data we are generating. And by day by day, this data generation or, uh, you know, sequencing data is getting cheaper. So obviously more data is available. Now what researchers are doing is they are using AI and ML algorithms, machine learning algorithms to understand this data and to, you know, use this data further in prediction of uh, better drugs or better delivery or whatever possible. So that's where the big data biology and we do have a certification course also on big data biology. You can check that out. So big data in biology is another approach which is, you know, going to revolutionize and help you evolve as a researcher. So you must pay attention to big data in biology. The next and last point for today is ethics. Now, Ethics in research is something which should be and it's actually being taught to various researchers, researchers now after the CRISPR baby fiasco in China. You can see that with the technology which we develop in our lab, it can be used in the general world and it can be misused also. For example, you can use CRISPR to develop a baby who is, um, you know, diabetes free. But yeah, there are regulations, there are there is ethics involved and there could be, uh, that could be unethical and there is a lot of debate going on. So ethics is also going to shape up your future research. So whenever you approach a research problem, always think that will this research will get accepted in the industry or the academy or wherever or not because for example designer babies even though this technology exists today 
you can't use it because there'll be a lot of hue and cry, right? Or the other one which uh, which we had to Sergio talking about replacing the head from an aging body and putting it into a young body, right? So there, there was a lot of ethics hue and cry in that experiment. I don't know if whether it has succeeded or not, but yeah, that was one ethical issue. So whenever you are doing research on the boundary of ethics, you are bound to succeed or fail. So it becomes a 50-50 chance, which I don't think you should take a risk because you did your research and now it is not being allowed to be done further, right? So that's something which you should not do. So these are the five, uh, I think, approaches or five things which are having a, a great impact on the evolution of biological research today. And um, I wish you all the best in your research career. If in case you are doing research and you want any kind of help, assistance or uh, growth advice, you can reach out to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. I'll definitely try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.